notice your pain. Sleep low. Runs deep. Share it with Yo, me. Yo, that thing, yeah, you know where the real is from. It's the mad dog killer son. I said it's mad dog. We be doing mad blog. It's the mad dog killer son. Yo, shout out to everybody in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? The bloggers, league owners, the battlers. Um, yo, on some G shit, I know, you know what I'm saying, a nigga channel ain't like crazy fire and shit like some other dudes, but on a low, um, on the low, on some real, real G shit, I had um, league owners reach out to me, I've had bloggers reach out to me, I've had battlers reach out to me, and you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, man, they be wanting that source, you know what I'm saying? So, Mad Dog is here. Um, yo, I blog when I feel like it, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I shouldn't even say when I feel like it. I blog when I'm motivated to do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have to be motivated, and, um, I'm not blaming nobody for it, but, you know, I haven't really been motivated to blog for a minute. Now your boy is back, giving you a top 10 battles of the year. I know some people been waiting on it. I'm gonna do it a little different because there's something out there called that quarter lab shit, and you just can't grab all the videos that you want like you used to before. So, there's some videos you could grab, some you can't. Right now, I know I could grab some URL shit, but I'm just trying to keep everybody in an even playing field. So, for now, it's going to be the TV over the shoulder. You notice a lot of bloggers is doing that TV over the shoulder. My man, shout out to ARP. He was doing that shit from the start. Queen's Flip. Shout out to Queen's Flip. He does the video shit over the shoulder. Um, Jay Black. You know what I'm saying? I even seen Chris Unbias. Shout out to Chris Unbias. He even did some TV over the shoulder shit. That quarter lab shit is fucking up the blogging game. So we got to do it this way for now. So part of, as they say, part of my back, or part of my part of my back. You know what I'm saying? That's play on words. Anyway, um, real talk. Uh, I'm gonna spend like two seconds on this. I noticed my camera, my phone camera. It was um it was a little blurry and shit, right? So I I cleaned it, still was blurry. I got the um you know the eyeglass cleaner with the with the nice soft cloth, cleaning that shit. And I'm like I looked at it, I'm like yo this thing is crystal clear. Why is my shit still blurry? Cause I wanted to do a blog. Yo homie, yo blonde moment. I wasn't cleaning the front camera, fucking little shit that you never pay attention to. When I flipped my camera in the front, that's the one that was blurry, not the one in the back. I flipped it to the front. That shit clear as day. So your boy Mad Dog had a moment, you know what I'm saying? I share it with y'all, you know. If y'all want to take shots at me, go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't bulletproof, but take them shots. Whatever, I'm a hood nigga. So I clean the front and the back lens now. And for y'all dirty niggas, shout out to Jim. For y'all dirty niggas that don't clean your front and your back lens at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You can thank this blog for now, you know what I'm saying, knowing what time it is. Alright, let's jump into this shit. Yo, there's a lot of honorable mentions. I'ma do shit a little different. I think there's gonna be some honorable mentions throughout this top 10 video. Uh, I know Chris likes to do a lot of his honorable mentions at the beginning. I think I might do it somewhere in the middle. I just don't have time for that shit. But, coming in at number 10 is... Your boy, Swave 7 versus Tank the Team. And we all know Swave 7 had a dope, dope 2016. All right, let's not fuck this shit up. He had a dope, he battled um, the Saga, he battled, he battled Tank, and then toward the tail end of 2015, he battled Danny Myers. So, Swave been on a tear. I got him not only 3 0 in niggas or 2 1, but he 3 0 that his last three battles. He won all three battles. You know what I'm saying? Hands down, no questions. And living up to his name, Swave Seven, niggas ain't coming into a battle talking about, oh, I think I got it 2-1, or oh, I think I'm going to win 2-1. Niggas coming in trying to three old dudes. And, like, let's not forget the essence of battling. Please, in 2017, can we see battles where battle rappers actually prepare for their opponent and they're not just spitting a whole bunch of random bullshit bars, random gun bar shit that... Don't really make, I mean, like, I just, I watched the, um, I watched the 400 block versus K-Shine, and I'm tired of just random gun bars that have no purpose, and not a whole lot of wordplay for your opponent. Like, please, take the time, develop your craft. A lot of my top 10 battles, you're going to see, has bars for their opponent and was very creative when it came to 
um, battling their, their opponent and what their opponent movement is about. All right, so coming in at number 10, take the demon and um, Swave Sever. Let's see if we can see a couple of these bars. Let's not forget, Tank the Demon flipped um, the whole Team Homie um, team. He put all their names in a bar in the scheme. He put all their names in the scheme. Um, he had that, you know, you know what a dead body feels like and, and all that shit. He, he, he killed that shit. Let's not act like Tank's battle with Swave was totally whack. He had some shit. He had some breathing issues. He had some cadence issues. But the battle itself was a dope fucking battle. Deserves to be in the top 10. Probably deserves to be a lot higher if Tank's performance had stayed up with Swave 7. Swave 7's performance was up there in the top 5, top 3. But it dropped a good bit. I'm not going to lie. It dropped a good bit because Tank didn't hold up his end of the battle all the way. Although it was still a good Tank. But Swave was just not fucking around. I'm not. I'm not playing with y'all. I'm going to keep that shit fucking. We we keeping this shit straight up. Swave wasn't playing with niggas 2016. He lived up to that. She said it. He lived up. I wish he had showed this fucking Swave to Averb. And we'd be having a whole nother conversation about top 10. Well, Swave already in my top 10 been there. But it would be like some other niggas won't be like trying to play shit. So let's hear some of this. Battle rap exterminator. Somebody tell poison pin. My pin poison. It won't take two condas, Sarah. Sarah kind of terminator. End up giving her head mine. Okay. All right. You know. Let's get it. End up giving her half mine. Then make a nigga from Rockton sell X or XL for the last time. A dummy brass. The forehead of Jay murder, I murder Jay and leave me stuffed in money bags. But for bags of okay. Money. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Boxing. Kill a king in front of this queen. You're from Coretta pressure, that Beretta stretcher. You ever should be okay. a dead body? It develops a leather texture. I bet my last one. Alright, so then it's Swave's turn. And you know he you know he not playing. He not playing. We're gonna get Swave back on. Come on now, Sway. Come on, talk to this nigga. Talk to this nigga. Did you scare me with all these horrible flick bars you spit? Yo, quit trying to convince them to do some type of killer, nigga. I'll talk this shit. Classification, arsenic. Slash arsonist. I get you shaking like a nigga with epilepsy and Parkinson. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Time out, time out. All right, let's go to the next shit. Let's go to the next shit. Hold on. Let's go to the next shit. All right, it's coming it's in at number nine, QB versus official. Alright, yo, look at the reaction, man. This shit was fucking crazy. This battle, y'all, I was dead live. This battle was fucking fire. I don't care nobody say. Classic shit. Look at this shit. Come on, this ain't number nine. This ain't number nine. Wreck you, bitch. Why you stuck in the whip? You get clipped by something special, bitch. Hook up to machines in a cola. That's how I rest you, bitch. God bless you, bitch. I do it gladly, bitch. Then I pull the plug on the anniversary of your dead daddy, bitch. Wow. Hey, I do too Well, this is what the fuck I do. And judging from the pictures that I saw, he died being an ugly motherfucker just like you. Disrespect. These bars was fucked up. That was these bars was fucked up. That's why this is in my top ten. Nigga, a battle. This is a battle.
club. B, inbox with niggas about putting that FaceTime in stuff. <laughs> B Magic versus E Nats. Fire shit. Coming in at number eight. Bars are spitting. It's a different style. I let the deuce deuce ill. Snack from each thing he got and let my new boo wear him. Knock out his front tooth, then I rock the tooth fairy. Trip walk on his back and roll up the blueberry. <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta give it an E-Mess. He do be having some entertaining shit. There's a chain in my hand. I slide it in my pocket, but you can't understand. I ain't even pointed. I just gave it to my man. That's what the fuck I call a chain of command. Fuck out of here. That shit is fire. And then, yo, be magic was on his shit. Like a paparazzi with a shoddy hand. Now with these kind of clips, open handy behind the hips, your top will paint the flow. I'm next door, acting like I'm knocking on your neighbor's door. He walk up, I run up. Magic, what you got the bang of four? I raise the arm, and this shit is not to make a toast. I get it popping, I get it popping. I'm as cocky as the rock and came to grow. I pop out like a paparazzi with a shoddy hanging low. Everybody train to go. You gonna see the still I rise like Maya Angelou. The still I rise like Maya Angelou? Fuck out of here! Fuck out of here! Let's go. Next battle. Next battle. Let's come in at number eight. Come on now, y'all got. If y'all ain't seen that shit, y'all gotta check that shit out. Real talk. Yo, the next one. I'm just gonna show one clip from it, but it's um QP. No, there's a lot of cues and shit. Versus Fresco. I know. I know. I know. People's like, y'all got. It. Who the fuck is this Fresco? That, yo, QP versus Fresco is QP versus Fresco is fire as fuck. I right. no real raps in your real raps. The shit is getting old, or you didn't know. He won't be using personals today. Ask him why, because he going against his general. What's good? The vision goes: no outsiders looking in your window. We are not community. We are cut from a different class. We are not for truancy. Envision the vision that I wink. Watch my pupil think. Before I could blink, he already seized the opportunity. What's good? Yo, yo, let, let me let, let, let me stop right here for a second. Um, QP versus Fresco and QP versus JC. It's in the cage. Look it up. Two dope battles coming in at number seven. I know I'm cheating, niggas. Those two battles is in at number seven. QP versus Fresco and um QP versus JC. And I don't care. Nobody say them them two girls. Um, QB and official, they in there. They in there. So that's that's probably why I have two number sevens. I don't know, but I'm doing it this way. It's my shit. It's my shit. Um, Fresco has some real creative bars. You know what I'm saying? The battle at the bunker, the whole scenery, the ambiance behind. That's battle rap, man. Yo, I got to give a shout out to King of the Dot. Shout out to Organic and Avocado. Those motherfuckers. This is what battle rap should look like. The... View the angles, the cadence of the changing of the cameras. It's just, it's like cinematic. It's, it's beautiful. This is what battle rap should look like at its highest level. It's, it's, it's a nice look. The battle at the bunker did not disappoint. They had a number of dope battles. Every time you look, a battle at the bunker drop. It's a dope battle. QP. There's a couple battles where I've seen QP, and I'm like, ah, eh, you know, whatever. Lately. Lately, that nigga been fucking, like, his boss is just on a whole nother level. When you watch QP and the frescoes and, you know, when you watch niggas like that, you just have to accept them for what they is. They're like a, a, a prodigy or anomaly. No, nah, they're like an anomaly. It's like they're just different. And you just have to appreciate them for, for what they is. Can they, will, will they ever be considered the best battle rapper ever? Probably not. But when you compare his bars... And the thought, the the double entendre, the the um, concentrated um, content of his bars, ain't too many motherfuckers putting bars together like QP. Ain't too many people, man. Like that whole innuendo click, they put some bars together that's fucking creative, conceited. You know what I'm saying? Um, QP. You know, it's like. That quantum physics shit, he, 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 he on that. He on that. You got to give him that. All right, we ain't going to stay too long in there. Check that battle of the bunker shit out. 
<clears throat> fire event, fire battles. You just type in battle little bunker and just check out any battle from it. I'm sure you're going to be entertained. But this shit held my attention. That's coming in, you know what I'm saying? That's coming in at number seven. Number six. I don't know why JC is in, you know, is in so many of these damn um, battles. I don't like to have the same person in the same... I don't like to have the same person in the battle, but it is what it is. Motherfuckers in a lot of top ten battles. I'm keeping it a stack. Mr. Mills, JC coming in at number six. Number six. All right. Um, here's the reason why this coming in so high. Coming into this battle, um, me, uh, like all the other bloggers, did not give Mr. Mills a chance. We said he wasn't going to beat JC. Um, he had a slip up or, uh, you know, a whatever performance against Jay Murder. And, you know, we, we were saying a validation and we were saying, I don't know. I don't know if he going, you know, I don't, I don't think he got it. Well, I told him in the building. He won in the building. You know, I was wrong. Looked at it on camera. It was a lot closer on camera um, than when it was in the building. In the building, you know, even JC seemed like he was giving it up. But we all know on camera shit look a lot different. My opinion still hasn't changed, though. I still got Mr. Mills taking this battle. And because he beat the odds, because so much people was against him for this battle, because he felt the pressure, I saw him that day, and he was like, yo, I'm going to do this shit. And I and y'all going, and salute to Mr. Mills. I know we got an interview that need to happen. I'm going to reach out to you, my G. You know what I'm saying? My bad. We're going to make that shit happen. But I got you in my top six battles for the year, homie. You got to show me some love for that. Respect. All right. I'm praying for the wicked round for the star, man. For some, man. Some walls are happy. Cats turn pussy when that bulldog barking at them. Tom Brady accuracy. Julian Carter turns Julian Edelman. No one for catching every bullet I'm tossing at him. If he survive, if he survive, then the aftermath is I'm giving 50 to the doc. No martial methods. I'm pulling the machines and stand over the body like, you just lost the battle, man. <laughs> Moving along, number five. Hold up, let me get the number five up in here real quick. Number five. Loso versus XL. Loso. I got some legs, I think smarter. King Arthur, rock the blade, run up on a real smooth like Run up on a real smooth like you good? And cough his head and leave an X in his head like the one that got away is too. Homie, I shouldn't even have to talk about this. This was a fire battle. Dope. Dope, dope battle. And um, I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. Uh, they battle each other's religion. And they challenge each other's information. In the third round, it was just fantastic. And this Loso guy is here to stay. He is dope. He's polished. We're looking forward to some five battles from Loso in 2017. You know he's down with the bullpen. Battle League and all of that, but um, XL changed the style round. Salute to XL. I had him in my first Dirty Dozen, and then like he sort of fell back, and then he's back again. Yo, he's a good brother. And this battle, I mean, me, me and XL had a couple of conversations before, but this battle here, I gotta say, made his mark in 2016 with coming in at number five. Number four is JC and Craig Lamar. Um, Y'all all seen the battle. When he goes, you know, when you swing, you know, that shit right there. When Craig Lamar did that Mortal Kombat shit, I thought it was just crazy. I thought it was fire. Um, salute to him. JC had some crazy bars in that battle. That has to be number four on his list. Crazy, crazy content in that battle. Both battlers was doing their thing. Coming in at number three. This was like a, you know... Throwback veteran, top tier type of dudes. So you have veteran top tier going at it, coming in at number three, delivering. We got to give it to Iron Solomon because at the beginning of the battle, sorry, I'm moving a little bit along because time pressures. But at the beginning of the battle, um, you know, Iron Solomon starts saying some shit like, yo, thanks to Organic, thanks to KOTD, this, this could only happen here. And what he was trying to say was, he couldn't battle, have a battle with disaster on URL. 
like the URL crowd wouldn't fuck with him, wouldn't let him get into his rhyming cadence, like how he rhymes on a like a on a beat. And um, like the URL crowd don't get it. It's not that the URL, URL crowd don't get it. The shit that you were saying wasn't really hot. And Mook was toasting your ass. That's really what happened that day. You was better on King of the Dot with Disaster. And I'll give it to you. The King of the Dot crowd is a little different than the URL crowd. You can get away with a little bit of your, you know, I'm a rhyme on the beats and, you know, sort of go back and forth kind of thing. And they, they'll, they'll rock with you. Even if a ball don't hit, they'll let that shit rock. So you had a dope battle. Uh, not taking away from that, he had a dope battle with Disaster, but Disaster was styling in this, his battle. I mean, this was vintage Disaster. Check that shit out. Coming in at number three. That's well-deserved. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, my bad, y'all. My bad. Shit. I got two number threes. I got two number threes. I don't give a fuck. Yo, I don't care. It's my blog. I'm doing the shit the way I need. Two number threes up in this bitch. All right? And the number three, second number three, a 3A... Is Av versus Rum Nitty. Av versus Rum Nitty. <sighs> crazy, crazy battle. Lot of lot of bars. Um they was battling each other. They had random bars out there doing their shit. Um yo, Av has looked like he had to stay. Uh there's just a little little thing with, with his cadence or the way he says his bars. I kinda like the head ice big K battle, the way how big head ice talk his shit. I like how Swave talks his shit. I love how Moneybags talks his shit in the battles. But Av kind of talks with a, a little bit of a southern twang. And he his cadence is just a millimeter off for me. For me. So, but he still has five bars. He still says certain things. I like to see him act out his bars a little bit more. But Rum and Av had a fire battle. Salute to them. Alright, I swear. The last two, no doubles. I'm not picking two number twos. I'm not picking two number ones. That'd be corny. Um, number two, Chef Trez and Ryder. I fought with this all night. I couldn't sleep for two nights in a row. Um, I had them at number five. Then I, I rolled over in the middle of the night, had them at number four. Then I was like, yo, fuck, the people going to kill me. And at the end of the day, I'm like, yo, it's mad, dog. And nobody going to say what it really is. This battle is number two. Number two in here. You know why? Because off this battle, first of all, people thought Chef Trez was just going to cook this motherfucker, Ryder. Now everybody's going back looking at Ryder versus Snake Eyes, Ryder versus, and now they say it's like watching a movie, and then at the end, you see that the, you, you see like the trick at the end. You see the, the twist at the end, like, oh shit, this was a nigga, this was a nigga from the start. That's what Ryder did in this battle. With Chef Trez, it was like, oh shit, Rod have been a nigga from the start. Chef Trez is nice. Chef Trez should have cooked. Chef Trez had some bars in that shit. And some metaphors, some shit. I'm still pressing rewind on. But Rod came with some fresh new shit. And there was a part in the battle, which I really appreciated, where uh, Chef Trez kind of looks at Rod like, nigga, you know you need to bring everything in the kitchen sink. And Rod looked back at him like, yeah, nigga, that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing everything to kitchen sink to fuck you up. And the whole battle was like that. And I got to give it to Ryder 2-1 on that shit. Dope, dope battle. Dope battle. Dope shit. Check it out. It ain't just some random gun bars. It's some, some real record. Number one. Number one. It got to be Danny. It got to be Danny and B-Dot. All right? I know it was an early battle at the beginning of the year. We were saying, is it going to stand the test of time? Is it going to, oh, it's Rav and Rum Nitty. Oh, it's this one. Oh, Diz and Iron Sound. Oh, nigga, stop. Them motherfuckers was rapping for set. B Dot rapped for about seven minutes per round. You talk about having a clip fully loaded. And Danny rapped for like four minutes a round. All right? And each time I was saying, well, and a fact, let me see if I can hold on. Hold on. Each time I was saying, okay, they done. It'd be this is shit that's fucked up. This channel, this channel um only has like about ten thousand subscribers or only had like seven or seven thousand subscribers when it dropped. They only got about two hundred thousand views, two hundred and thirty thousand views. This should easily be a three or four <coughs> million view battle. If this was on URL, it would be a four million 
few battle. It was a small league. Uh, B dot is a different type of battler. You know what I'm saying? And he came in with this shit on some fuck you. I'm doing my own shit. West Coast. They try to put West Coast on. So I respect them for doing that. Uh, this battle was crazy for so many. First of all, it kind of came out of nowhere. You know, B Dot had a couple of battles um, prior to this. We battled uh, Daylight. Daylight didn't take him serious. He battled um, some other no name dude, and he was styling on him. He was styling on him. They really didn't like go crazy or whatever. But um, when he battled da Danny, when he battled Danny, it's like they both knew that they was coming in there with some shit. And Danny wrote his ass off. And you'd say to yourself, well, Danny, you know, you probably don't have to write your ass off. B-Dot, who's he beat? Who's he beat that, you know what I'm saying? Like, meet your status, if you will. And I'd say going into this battle, everybody probably just figured, oh, Danny, just, you know, another day at the office. No, nigga. This B-Dot nigga came in there fully loaded. Danny let him rap. They put on a show. I know Danny Myers. I spoke with Danny Myers numerous occasions. Danny Myers is not so concerned about who won or who lost. He's more concerned with the entertainment value of the battle. Did you enjoy it? Did you think both niggas came hard with it? Um, did they put on West Coast? Um, it's like after this battle, people's afraid to step in front of B Dot for real. He didn't want to step in and take no PGs. Niggas is not screaming out, oh, I want B Dot. Alright? And to be honest with you, the way he raps, the it's like a Gatlin gun, a boss. It's like, can you keep up with this dude? And he's so intelligent, so sharp. I just appreciate him and Danny for putting on this battle. I don't think there's been a battle this year or even the year before that's on par with with the content that came in this battle. So I salute them. That's my top 10. You know what I'm saying? Go go down again real quick. We got at number 10, we got Sway Seven versus Tank the Demon. You could probably throw the saga in there. Both performances dope. That's the two. That's a double header. We call them double header. Sway Seven, Tank the Demon. Number nine, QB official. Number eight, B Magic and Ines. Number seven is a double header. Fresco QP, QP JC. Number six is Mr. Mills, JC. Number five, Loso XL. Number four, JC Craig Lamar. No, number three is Diz and Iron Solomon. And that's also a doubleheader with Run and Av. Apologize for that. Number two, Chef Trez and Ryder. And number one, rightfully so, Danny Myers and B Dot. Yo, this is Mad Dog signing off. You know what I'm saying? And respect to these battlers. They done did they thing this year, 2016. That's my top 10 battles. I know y'all niggas been asking for it. Here it is. I enjoy doing it. You know what I'm saying? Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All that good shit. That shit go for niggas catch you slipping with the pump up at the sit go. That's how it go with this pencil. I'll be fucking up your mental. My credentials, presidential verses. Matter of fact, this ain't a first bitch. It's a tang like it's gang season. You don't want to draw scenes for dark fade in my short temple. These families and funerals for long faces. Call your wife, she knows what the back of the car was like. When I start her up, she just blows to exhaust the pipe. Now I know why you're mad with it when her van's.